quorum number is four for voting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we just need one more. And Lauren is not coming, is that right? That's right. Yeah, so... Um, so we, we won't have a quorum. We won't have a quorum. We can't vote on anything. The, and, you know, there, so on the agenda today was check in on the Declaration of Inclusion and look at the strategic um, plan for CJAC and think about what next steps we need. Um, D, Helen, and Michael, do you feel like there's any discussion to have in, you know, absence any kind of voting without the other members, or are we, we kind of stuck? Well, um, what I, we, we did get one comment um, from Peter Toms mm -hmm. about, uh, who made some suggestions. So we don't have to necessarily vote, but we could we could discuss those. And if we think that they're, we want mm -hmm. to, to do that, we can table the mo table any motion and mm -hmm. then circulate the revised, you know, circulate a revised version to the members yeah. and vote on it next time. Um, and the same thing with, same thing with um, the plan. We can make, if we want to make some recommendations, we can do that without a, a motion. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think is that's right. We can, Kelly, we can, we, we don't have to make a motion to, to make recommendations for consideration. No, so you, you could review um, uh, sort of the materials and, you know, mm -hmm. make some recommendations to the committee and then, you know, take them up at the next meeting for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm comfortable with us looking at Peter's comments. Um, I did look at his Word document. The edits are kind of non-controversial, in my opinion. Um, but he did add some other comments, too. Um, uh, Jeremy, can you share your screen? Yeah. Is it possible? Thank yep. you. I'll, I'll pull up um, his comments. Let me... Um, actually drag them into the document. Just give me one second. And then I will share. And let's go back. Okay, I'm going to put Peter's comments um, at the very end. I'm going to paste those in. And I will share right now. Okay. okay. A little bigger. Okay. Um, and I can also share his edits in just a second. So his main comments are, given its title, it was notable that the name, the Declaration of Inclusion was not mentioned until the end of the third bullet, about three quarters of the way down. Um, so that's that's interesting. Do we want to reference that somewhere in the first paragraph or add a statement? Talk about that. Do you want to talk about these one by one or review them all first? Well, let's talk about them one by one. Okay. So Peter's comment is we actually don't, while we do have a title, Declaration of Inclusion, um, we're not actually mentioning that until further down in the document. Is that something we want to address? 
Well, I thought of it sort of the way in which you see uh, government, pop, you know, proclamations, whereas, 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 therefore. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, we can do it. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference to me. I, I don't think it weakens the document in any, in any sense. I mean, you've got, you've got a title right there yeah. at the top. So. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, I, I tend to agree with you, Michael, on that. And we like the Middlebury's right the do they use it sorry i don't remember uh, i have to have my computer to yeah, check I don't it have that handy i mean yeah the, it's interesting and i think the point here the actual text is the declaration the title is clearly declaration of inclusion i think i think i'm comfortable with it as it is because the thing is the declaration Yeah, me too. We can say this and wait what other members will say. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's just give a check to that one. All right. His next comment. That bullet was the last of three coming under the paragraph referring to the 2018 creation of CJAC when the statewide declaration effort had not yet started. Okay. Let's see what he's saying there. All right, so this is kind of a timing issue. So um, I, I didn't understand the point. So we are talking about our committee, right? Not the... Well, declaration, yeah. Yeah, that one doesn't quite make sense to me either because we're just noting kind of a historical moment. The city council had established CJAC and CJAC moving forward will and ha has and moving forward will do these three bullet points, which is inclusive of us kind of adopting the declaration of inclusion. So I, I I don't I don't feel that comment is necessarily something we need to incorporate. Yeah, I agree or we can ask him what he is trying to say, right? He can elaborate a little bit. Mm -hmm. If, if everybody wants, but yes, yeah, say Jack and the declaration of um, inclusion, they are two different things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess we, the, the only change that I would see, say is um, the end of the fourth paragraph, per the division, um, the city council established, et cetera. Um, and, and, and somehow, um, just say the these various social by continuing to identify and nurture instead of. Uh, I mean, if we want to, if we if we want to see that we've been doing it already, if, if that's important thing to say, mm -hmm. that that's the place to say it. Continuing to, um, for that that first bullet point there, but I don't think it's really essential. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's my opinion too. Um, yeah, the comments, the, these two comments don't feel substantive enough to really incorporate. So I would, I would say, you know, thank you, Peter, but we're good. And they are. They are just, as you said, comments or feedback. So it's not that we need to change anything. Mm -hmm. It is very nice of him to send yeah. this. But as we talk, yeah, they are kind of minor, <laughs> yeah. minor things. We don't have to change whole text based on them. Okay. Um, let me pull up his Word document because he did have some good, um, I thought, edits. Yeah. 
let me just make this a little bigger. And some of these look like they were already changed. So, well, I, um, those were changes that he was proposing. That uh, yeah, anything yeah. in bold he was proposing. Um, right. Um, and then strike through. I guess the one thing, the one last place uh, the, in the last paragraph, the city council in partnership with CJAC will establish a process to, he, um, he, he points out that assess and review uh, and evaluate the same. So just review and evaluate our progress in these issues, comma. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Um, so you're saying, Helen, what do you think about that? So Instead take of, out the word, take out the words as, and assess. Yeah. So to, uh, a process to review and evaluate um, our progress in these issues to ensure that. Um, yeah. And then the, the other one, um, the others I think are fine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we have, and well, on third, the third paragraph, uh, as a city, we formally condemn. Um, I don't know if, if we need the word formally. Mm -hmm. We hereby, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a modifier that I don't, it, it, it sounds legalistic. Well, but Peter, I don't, is, a I don't lawyer. Peter yeah. is a lawyer, you know, so yeah. <laughs> I, well, was a lawyer. I, I don't know if he does any law anymore. But. Yeah. Yeah. Helen, as you're reading through some of these edits, do you have any opinion on them? I think I will go with yours and Michael's decision because these are really advanced for me. Okay, yeah, it's, it's very like minutia very, very, as yeah, far as the language. Yeah, both similar things, so. That's fair enough. Um, well, I, formally. So take out formally and take, as he suggests, take out the word all discrimination because yep. it's not necessary. Um, we're going to add a, we need to add that in here, ensure that, and just something back and forth here. Oh, there's the addition of Montpelier up above. That's already there. Um, so take out formally. Formally, yeah. Where you are. Yeah. Okay. Um, We've got adding our CJAC acronym for clarity here. Um, and then down below, we made this change already. We changed it to review and evaluate. Um, he's suggesting adding in our account, our last accountability statement to our citizens and to the intention set forth in this declaration. I mean, I like I like that as a, okay. a sentiment. Um, issue account two. Yep. Citizens and to the intention set forth in this declaration. Okay. Um, and then we like we've missed a word there. We'll add then has been. Okay. I believe that's all of his edits that we'd like to incorporate. I think he said delete all, right? In the third yes. paragraph? Yes. Uh, yes. No way. Yeah. As a city, we formally condemn discrimination in all its forms. So yeah. take out the first all there. Yeah, we got that. We can okay. discriminate. I thought you did too. Yeah. Okay. Did, you, did anybody notice? I, I sent around this article from the Times Argus, which was was somewhat confusing and disturbing about Highgate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I looked at that. Um, uh, I read it and I was 
wondering if we want to discuss this and what really they are trying to say because I went their website and tried to understand what its meaning. I couldn't find anything. So it will be great if we discussed. I think it's a good good thing that you shared with us, Michael. Um, I, I guess they had, there's a city manager, right? Or somebody was a spokesperson for... Say, okay, um, the select board vice chair, Vern Broski, explained the move during the... When we signed on, we hadn't quite done our homework and yet after doing our homework, we're not sure if we want to be associated with that group. So I would, I'd be interested to understand what that means. Um, is there something about this, that group that we should know? It's... What, what, what is the group, do you think? Well, I think it's uh, um, Al, um, um, Al Wakefield's group. That it's interesting when you go to the website, they don't identify themselves as an organization. There's no name for the organization. It's just declaration of interest. Yeah, I don't. I don't think my understanding. It's not an organization. It's in. It's Al and I think two other folks coming together as concerned citizens, kind of organizing a movement to so get this declaration. <clears throat> kind of off the ground in cities around Vermont. Yeah. So can you reach out that person, <laughs> the select board member or spoke person? And it is not really very clear and it creates some kind of suspicion, which is interesting. So I, I don't know what he meant, but well, now I, I, I have a like, okay, should we, <laughs> should we also investigate what's happening? But it wasn't clear what he's trying to say. Yeah, I have to. So my my interpretation, the the kind of ambiguity and lack of specifics, um, raises alarm bells for me in terms of the motivation of the city council in rescinding the declaration. It it just speaks of strategies that are often used to kind of undermine anti-racist work. So I, I don't find it credible in my, my kind of read. Um, so I wouldn't want to spend any time digging into it myself, but that, again, that's just my personal opinion and not the, the committee's opinion. Yeah, I think we have to be cautious here, but I think cautious at both on both sides. I mean, I'm not willing to take the Highgate as as you know as an authoritative condemnation, or even especially since there are no specifics, as Bellin points out. On the other hand, this has been you know sort of thrown in our face, and I think we should do we should at least be understand a little bit better what what's going on I mean, if if you if unless you object to it i could put i could try to put in a phone call and see if i could get some more information from uh the mm -hmm. spokesman what was his name um mm -hmm. Vern brusky yeah and see if he wants to talk about it at all mm -hmm. and, and also from this group right the Declaration of Inclusion Group. We should listen to their side. Yeah, they too. might have more details too. Yeah, right. we, we cannot only you know ask one right. side. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess that means a phone call to uh, to Al Wakefield, or is he the only person who whose name we know from this whatever whatever it is organization or coalition or working group or whatever whatever they're calling themselves? Do we know anybody else? On, um, I'm checking the website. Contact us. There's three individuals named J. Alvin Wakefield, Al Wakefield, Bob Harnish, Norman Cohen. Um, and there is contact information for each of these folks on the website. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think 
I'm I'm certainly fine with that, Michael. I mean, we do have time. We're not going to be able to vote this forward until the next time we meet meet anyway. Okay. So if if you feel you could do some digging, I think it's worthwhile. Okay. Well, um, I have other things on my desk, but I can I can do it sometime later today. We'll get started on that later today. Okay. Thanks. And it's okay for me to say that I'm calling on behalf of our committee, right? As, yeah, as a member, I, sure. I have your uh, have your agreement on that. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so I think where we're at is the language of the declaration um, seems settled based on some feedback that we've discussed. Uh, we did get feedback from Lauren in her email that she feels it's solid. Um, but again, I think we can't we can't vote it forward to you kind of start maybe sharing it more broadly um, and getting it ready for city council until we have a quorum. Um, and then secondly, Michael's going to do a little bit of investigation about this Highgate um, situation. Um, have I got everything on the declaration? Okay. I'm seeing no disagreement. Um, question for you, Kelly. Do, are there supposed to be minutes for meetings that are not, that have no quorum and take no voted action? So because it's sort of more of like a working session, there's not a majority of you here. Um, you wouldn't necessarily need minutes because it would be as though, you know, it wouldn't be an official meeting. Um, however, it might not be a bad idea just to capture the mm -hmm. you know, general comments for the group so that then you can kind of just keep things moving forward. Mm -hmm. That was a purely selfish question, you understand. <laughs> Whether I have to write another set of minutes, but that's all right. I think I think Michael, in my opinion, is, well, one, I appreciate you doing that. I think it's a few bullet points of the highlights, and maybe more importantly for our committee colleagues is kind of those next steps that we just outlined, so that they are aware of what's what's going on between now and the next time we meet. Okay. Um. All right. So then the next question is, well, I have an opinion. Um, so the other thing on our agenda was the strate strategic plan and kind of checking in on, you know, what other actions to take. Um, do you all feel we should start discussing that or without kind of our quorum, um, should we wait on that? Well, and we have been discussing it, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure where we've left off exactly. You, part of the problem of taking minutes is I either focus on the minutes or I focus on what the, the conversation. But yeah. um, I mean, I'm not opposed to discussing it anymore. Uh, I'm not quite sure where where we're mm -hmm. where we're going to go in that discussion. Mm -hmm. And if we will uh, discuss again with the larger group, then mm -hmm. maybe we should wait because it will be like repetitive for us. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's it's up to you. Yeah, both both of you. <laughs> um, I think Palin, I tend to agree with you. We we are kind of at a loss in terms of making decisions, um, and I think. The strategic plan work is about making decisions because we have to decide, okay, who's doing what? What's our next step? Um, so I I would support that. Like I think we could table that until we are all together again in a couple of weeks. Um, and That's not it, Michael. Is it my um, am I correct that the plan was to try to have our strategic plan ready for the time when the city council starts to talk about its strategic plan. Is that right? That's That was, we were working around the, the coincidence of those two. 
when when Kelly, when does this when does the council start look, talking about its strategic plan? Um, so we probably will have a briefing um, on the 8th as we onboard new members and to get everybody up to speed. Um, and so there's that. The 8th, though, is going to be a pretty, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's going to be a, a la hesitate to say an administrative meeting, but more like kind of lay of the land kind of things, um, some strategic items for sure. And then the 22nd, probably, you know, we'll get into a little bit more of that. Um, and so in terms of the time frame, I think, you know, bringing this forward um, as part of a conversation with the council, probably the 22nd or um, the, you know, first April meeting. Michael, I missed, I missed, I think, a key meeting at the end of last in December about this. So I, I, I am probably a little less clear. My understanding was we had kind of I started to identify some different tactics in each of the quarters of this coming year. And we need to kind of start to mobilize around those. But I, I there could be another dimension here that I'm not aware of about kind of checking in with council and making sure we're all on the same page. But um, so my confusion is um, something that I feel like I need help from the full council to clarify. Our full committee, sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 okay with leading it at that. Okay. okay. Um, then I think our next meeting's agenda. Um, we're going to kind of hear back from you, Michael, about the declaration, what you've discovered at Highgate. We're going to get the full committee together to just confirm that our draft is solid. Um, and then figure out how we start to, I think, socialize it and move it forward. Um, and then we'll just continue to have the strategic plan on the agenda as well. Does that make sense for everything? Okay, thumbs yeah. up, Helen. Um, yeah, I think, I think unless anyone has anything else, we can go ahead and end early today. So when would the next meeting be? So you're thinking, um, let's see here. All right. Two weeks okay. from now, the first, is that what? Yeah, we're, we're on a two weeks. Two week cycle, okay. And so, yep, if we can Sounds get that good. warned in the link set up. Awesome, thanks. Okay. All right, well, good to see you all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Jeremy and Michael, yeah. Kelly. Bye-bye. <laughs>